The color operations tool has a good number of functions to it. Let's go through them one at a time here and see what they do. With um, opacity of 50, will allow you to take this blue to a slightly bluish gray. If we turn the opacity down to half that, 25%, it's a little less pronounced, but you can see it's still doing the same thing. If you crank it up to 100%, that'll take that all the way to a gray. Saturate does the exact opposite. It actually puts more color into it. Okay, and do that. As we do this, it will darken the color. Right now the opacity is at 100%. Let's bring that back down to 50. And you can see it's making a darker blue instead of a black at 50%. Lighten does the same thing, except it makes it brighter. All right. So it's a good way to do like camouflage painting and things like that. Mixing those two together. Smoothing tends to do almost the same thing as holding down the shift key, but not quite. That was the shift key. But it also depends on the opacity you have set. If we, so if we go up to 100, you can see now it's very, very obvious. I also find it to be um, a little different than the smoothing tool itself. That is compared to holding down the shift key and brushing. So next up, increase hue, decrease hue. They're both the same, basically. One goes one direction on the uh, on the hue, and the other goes the opposite of that. So let's demonstrate. So we've got a blue color, and if we look at the color picker down here, to the left of blue, which will be increasing, uh, left is increased, right is decreased. We'll go from blue to cyan to green to yellow to red, and so on. So let's go ahead and do that. You can see it's... oops. Let's turn the opacity down. We'll go like 75% for this one. So you can see, like I said, it goes from blue to green. If we release and do another uh, another stroke, it'll be toward yellow, and then eventually yellow color, then orange and red, and then purple, then back to blue again. I found this technique, or this tool rather, to be really handy to sculpt in like an infrared uh, or a heat sensor type view. And it's cool, you can smooth it out if you want to. Looks kind of cool, I think. Um, next is decrease hue. It's the exact opposite of in increase, as I mentioned before. So if we start at blue, it'll go toward the right. Next will be purple, then pink, then red and so on and so forth so i'll demonstrate that real quick all right i think you get that now okay I'll just leave that on there the next two are also similar to each other it's substitute hue and then it doesn't say it but it means substitute hue and saturation let's start with substitute hue substitute hue will actually take the color we're painting on and mostly ignore it Instead, it will use the foreground color that we have set and the color swatch up here. And right now I have a dark red. So let's turn the opacity back down to 50%. You'll notice that actually starts from red and kind of combines the two colors a little bit. So, but the same basic operation as increase hue and decrease hue. It just takes the color swatch instead. So. Then we have hue and saturation. Like I said, it's similar to substitute hue. However, this one is a little different. It also takes the saturation. So right now we have saturation of 100, as uh, we can see in the color picker. So let's take that down to, I don't know, 20%. You can see it's more pinkish, just like we have here. Let's turn that up a little. We'll go about 50%. So it's a little more saturated. And so on, we'll demonstrate one more time. So at 75% saturation, it's not quite the same as we did with the substitute hue, but it's pretty close. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.